only because of a story you saw here last month and some good police work. It started when a good Samaritan, who happens to be a roller derby queen, chased down this theft suspect as he ran out of the South Hill Fred Meyer. A KXY4 story with a grateful purse owner prompted a police investigation and led to Ronald Warner's arrest. Our Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight with a look at just how police solved this case in only a day, Jeff. And Nadine, I'm still not sure what's more impressive, the detective's quick work or the fact that a roller derby queen would chase down this thief on foot, even if it meant crossing four lanes of busy traffic. His name is Ronald Warner, and the Fred Myers loss prevention staff had already started watching him as the heroin addict ambled around their store. Last minute, we decided to get some ice cream. So I left my wife in the car and was walking down to the ice cream aisle, and I heard my wife scream. He's got my purse. Warner took off running out of the store. Security guards couldn't get to him in time, but someone else was there to help. A member of the Spokaneable Roller Derby team. I had no idea what was going on, but I thought he needs to be chased because that doesn't look like his purse. So I just flung my sunglasses and everything and started running after him. Heidi, whose nickname around the roller rink is Ida Bichoaz, didn't hesitate to take off after the suspect. And then we ran over to the freeway. We had to dodge some traffic, and once he realized I was not going to stop because I was dodging traffic with him, <laughs> we got to the freeway, and he, he looked and saw he had nowhere to go other than running, and I said, I, was like, I can outrun you. Give it up. And <laughs> He just looked at me and tossed the purse. The Irwins thanked Heidi for her heroism. A police officer saw our story, and then Detective Ty Snyder picked up the case. The same day he saw the store surveillance video, he identified Warner as a suspect who coincidentally walked in front of Snyder's car here at Pacific and Altamont later on that afternoon. The detective gives Heidi high marks for her heads up play. Some people walk around with the blinders on, but she actually took notice of what was happening and took action in this case. And Nadine Spokane Police remind shoppers that a lot of purses get stolen out of our grocery carts. You can't leave them alone for a moment, and ideally, you'd have that purse strap lashed around the handle here and make sure that your pocketbook is zipped up inside your purse. That's because Miss Ida Bichoaz cannot be everywhere, and so we're going to have to look after ourselves. Reporting live in Spokane, <laughs> Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Uh,